Okay, hi, welcome back. Uh, we got the basketball music going, <laughs> so you guys have some yeah. background music. Enjoy it. Um, so our final warm-up drill was the 2020 28. You yes. want to tell us about that? Yeah, so it's uh, we're just going half court over the net. You know, we I found we have to actually practice tipping. So the first sequence is 20 balls over the net, pass, set, tip. Then we go pass, set, down ball, and then we go pass, set, jump, and hit. And so each phase. You know, we give, you know, the outside hitters need to get to 28 on yeah. the jump and hit. The middles in general go to 20, 20, 20. Okay. So by position, we do have a, some higher standards. Um, but the idea is, yeah, we're, we're rather than, you know, throw the ball back and forth or pay pepper, like that we go in over the net as quick as we can. Um, and, you know, we get their arms warm by doing it. But, you know, we rather than throw, we do the down balls. So we're learning, you know, to control the ball overhead. You know, we talked about, you know, part of ball control is overhead ball control. So that's a great chance for them to work on it. If the ball drops, they got to start over from wherever they, you know. Well, there were a number of things I really enjoyed about it. One, overhand ball control. Yeah. So you're actually making a focus of focusing on pepper. Yeah. I mean, on uh, tipping. Yes. So I thought that was brilliant. The other thing I noticed was there was a massive transfer into the game in that your rallies go on and on and on. Like I was like, you know, five times over the net and the girls are diving and, right. and you know, it's like, and then I think about it, I'm like, well, this is the 2020, 28 drill. Right. And it's like, it's just an extension and it's like the girls are peppering, they're shooting their right. shots. And so I think a lot of that actually almost plays through. Right. And the other thing I loved about it was it seemed, and you can notice the pressure ball as they get closer to their 20. And literally, you watch them starting to shake, and it's kind of like a game situation a little bit. No question. Put a little bit of pressure on you, let's see if you're gonna choke or whatever. So now you watch their arm swings, they're not swinging as hard, they start making mistakes they, they Maybe they start looking at different, they start watching the ball more, or whatever, oh, yeah. whatever happens when you get tense, you know, you fall go back to... Yeah, you know, so like, that was another thing that I thought was great. So I, I thought it was a phenomenal drop. Yeah. What, what are some of the things that you're focused on? Any verbal cues you're trying to call out or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, so for the for the pass set tip part, you know, we want to make sure that, you know, all those reps were max jumping, we're tipping uh, at the peak of our jump, we're on the way up. It was amazing to me when I first took over this program how many times we tipped into the block. So we actually <laughs> have to, we work on tipping up and it was, sometimes we'll do it with a block. So we actually have to tip over the block. Oh wow! You know, we want we want to you know in general at when we underhand when we forearm pass, we want to bend our knees a little bit more as we get closer to the net, yeah. play the ball higher, slow the game down. So I'm looking. Well, for there the, was a, uh, there was something that I, I heard a focus on and a lot of okay. calls about about slow the game down. And you know, most of our stuff around that has been done vision. For those of you that yeah. watch volleyball one on one, make sure you check out the stuff we're doing with Bill Harrison. But. Um, for you, there were some really cool things, and it was so logical, but everyone forgets about it. Slow the game down, bend your knees and get a little lower, and push the ball higher. Is that right? Right. right. So, you know, certainly part of what we talk about slowing the game down is what you're looking at. Yeah. If you're reading the right things, it's the game should sure, be slowed. without a doubt. But, you know, you know, so much can, you know, the, you know, it's limited time in volleyball. Yeah. But if I just, just by passing the first ball a little bit higher, and I give my hitters more time to get off the net, my setter has more time to get to the ball, I have more time to get ready to take an approach, um, but we have to we have to pound it into them because it's not something they'll do unless you know, unless it's, sure. it's taught. So though if if we leave them alone, they'll pass BBs right to the setter and, and set <laughs> pretty low, and so and then all those things we talked about get harder to do. Cool. Okay, so that's our warm up. We're gonna get into practice next. See more videos. Go to volleyball101.com.